Morning folks, sorry I haven't put a video up for ages. Uh, one thing and another, weather one of them. It's getting time to film and do things at the same time for me, because having to work. Uh, so I've been, just been trying to catch up, so I've took a week off. Um, so hopefully I can catch up and then start putting some more vids out. So I'll share a bit of footage where I've been filming the odd bits when I've been doing it and then dodging the rain showers. So I'll crack on and show you that. And I'll come okay, back in these are all my giant cabbages, desperate to go out. So that I've got to repot them. So I've been busy trying to get me new structure for them done. So there they are. Uh, these are the ones grown in Art of Eden. Got a twisty stem on it, look. That one's in Rocket Grow, twisty stem. One's in peat, or peat based, then all straight stem, so don't look suited for the cabbages. Right, I'll show you the structure and then I'm going to crack on and start planting them. Okay, this is me bit of uh, creation I've done. My structure for uh, my cabbages and kohlrabi and that, brassicas. Um, reason I've done this because last year the cabbages started rotting and I think it was just too much rain getting on the top so... I've made it on the top, the sides roll up as well. So I'll just show you doing that. I'll put a couple up in here. Well, I'll put three on each one. And I've got a bit of bungee elastic and I've got a couple up on the inside. I'll just do that, perfect. Right, I'll carry on putting these up. I'll bring you back in a bit. Morning folks, welcome back. Oh, sky looks nice. Um, this morning I've got to get on, uh, get me long route going for Malvern. Uh, so I need to fill them all up with compost. And the way, it, the way it's looking, it might rain again today. So I just need to crack on and get it done. So, I'll spin you around and we'll have a look. Okay, these are the long roots. Desperately need to go in out because the roots are coming out the bottom. Uh, so I've got the carrots are in here, uh, beetroot, and then I've got parsnips the other side. So these are out, you're like, yeah, I think it's 40 mil waste pipe. I split it down the centre. So I can cut that tape and then just open them up put them into the structure so that's me long roots ready to go out so what I need to do today I need to start filling these up with compost I should probably have to do them one at a time because the way the sky looks over there it looks like it might pour with rain and I had this trouble last year I have lowered the structure, uh, that was probably up to the bottom of the orange on there, nearly level, because I think it was a little bit steep, because last year when I was doing it, we had a terrific thunderstorm sort of thing and it washed most of the compost out, so the loop, roots didn't get as long as they should have, so I need to carry on doing that. 
So I'll bring you back in a minute, folks. Okay, just been filling the gutter in. I've probably filled them by a, th a third, because you don't need much. Just want a little tap root to run down underneath the soil. So I've done half of them, because uh, as you can see, as you can see, the sun's come out. So I'll do this half. I'll just show you what I'm doing up okay, the top. Okay, so this is a beet root. The tubes are 18 inches long. You can see the roots have come down probably six inches as well. So they're well overdue for going in the guttering. So I'll bring you back in a minute, folks. Okay, folks, I'll put the first one in. Uh, I'll show you on the next one the root, what the roots are like. They're not too bad, but I'm going to cover this right up with compost here. Just to bury it. I only need three of each, so I've got more than I want. So I've sorted the three best ones out. There's my first beak suit in. It's a bit awkward up here. Just got to be careful not to cut the roots. You can see one's come out the side there. There we go. Nicely in there. There we go, nicely in there. Okay, I've done that, all planted them all. Uh, so I've got five parsnips, three carrots, because the other two were like stumpy rooted, so they were no good, and the beetroot. So I've got five beetroot. Uh, I'm just gonna put the odd slug pellets down the, the row. Because last year when I took the top off, I had quite a few slugs and snails up there, so I need to do that. And also, I don't know if you can see them, pick them up. I've got a few ants on there. I don't know if they do any harm or not. Got to take the chance. That was in my compost. Okay, this is my single seed potato challenge. That's on there. Uh, I'm just going to divide these up because this one's got four in there. So hopefully I'll get four more potato plants and I'll repot them on. I'll look what I like in there. I'll get a good sharp knife. I'll take a chance so I can get four. You've got to be in it to win it. It's got a little bit of root on it. That's the worst one out of the lot, so I'll just repot them on. Should be all right, so you can do cuttings.
might give a bit of mycorrhizal. Right, that's what I'm going to be cracking on doing. I'll do all these and I'll bring you back and see how many I've got out of. Originally there was five, we'll see what we got. Okay, there we go. Got 12 off them altogether. A couple, couple of them, uh, when I cut them, there weren't much root to them, so hopefully they grow. Um, they'll probably be in the pots for another week or two and then I'll get them into big pots outside. Right, there we go. Right, these are the potatoes, what you've seen in the video. Uh, I need to get these into 30 litre pots. Can I just come into bud now, look? So, yeah, I did get 12, I think it was 12 out of them. So, I'll crack on and get them in pots. Okay, I'm going to just transplant the single seed potato challenge potatoes. Um, I've had to buy some more of these 30 litre buckets, some kind person uh, borrowed them out my shed, they liked them better than me, so I think it was about 15, maybe 20. I know there was quite a few, because I had quite a lot of these buckets, but I've got some planted already, so I'll have to buy a few more just to do this, so I'll crack on. <coughs> gonna show you me doing one it's a good bit of uh, fish blood in bow and then I'm gonna put some chicken manure pallets in get that stir up You can see that got some little runners. I know to take a few of them off and just put in pots. See if we get any more plants off them. Might just try it on a few. I'll plant this one for now. Yeah, got loads of runners coming out there. Right, I'm gonna plant this one. And then I shall have a look at doing some more. Right, that's what I'm going to be doing. And there we go. I should have probably planted it a bit deeper. But now I find a place on the plot to put them out. I'll bring okay, so I've potted all the potatoes up. Uh, I've got 20 of these shoots off, as you can see, and then I took some cuttings in there, that ain't just in water at the moment. So I could have another 20 potatoes there. Right, I'll show you the others. Okay, there's a 12. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to... Uh, Dig a trench down there, well, dig a hole for each pot and sink it in, probably a third of the way. Uh, so I'm keeping these separate from the other potatoes up there. Right, hopefully we get some potatoes. Right folks, that's it for this one, thanks for watching.
catch you all next time.